So, um, previous semester you have done the analysis for determinant structures. So, this time we are going to do for indeterminate structures. So, what is the reason why are we going for indeterminate structures? Already, determinant structures are there. It's very easy, simple to uh, do the analysis. Why do we have to complicate ourselves? Right? So, indeterminate. Name itself is uh, contradicting. Indeterminate. Why it is indeterminate? So, determinant means is, uh, that uh, it looks easy. Uh, easily, we can determine, right? Uh, so, our life will be very easy. We can go ahead with that kind of uh, structures itself. But why do we have to go for uh, come? We have to make our life itself complicated. What is the reason? The reason is yesterday we discussed like we are having a just normal cantilever beam. We have a huge load, so it will try to deflect more. But it will try to deflect more. Your delta will be more. So to avoid the delta support, uh, sorry, at the end of the beam you have to reduce the deflection. I'm just putting some drop. Another one support. It can be a column column of your uh, structure so like that also will be there so that is again on top only the support so for that only we are doing another one is for example i'm having a simply support a beam okay a udl what will be your bending moment diana this will be like a parabolic this will be maximum bending moment will be w square by eight it's a positive sagging moment right Positive moment. You know the difference between sagging moment and hogging moment, right? Sagging is top will be in compression, top will be in compression, bottom will be in tension. This is top, this is bottom. Okay. Here hog means top will be in tension, bottom will be in compression. Right? So this is only the sagging moment is developing. So top will be in the beam. Is there, this is a beam. Okay. I'm just trying to bend like this. You can see the length of the beam is, is reducing in the top fiber. So this is nothing but contracting. It's a compression. So here length of the beam is increasing. That is called tension. That you have done in your uh, previous semester itself. Um, when you are uh, deriving the simple bending theory. Right? So when you are having top uh, fiber in compression, bottom fiber in tension, we can uh, we, Used to call that as a hog, sorry, sagging. So, if, in the other way, if it is an opposite, top will be in uh, tension, bottom is compression, that is called hogging, right? So, this uh, simply is a Buddha beam, if you just take it up, you are getting bending moment as W square by 8. You might have uh, done that in the previous semester. If for this again, what about your deflection? Your deflection value will be 5 W L 4 4 divided by 384. EI. Okay, so this is a deflection value. If I'm having some load, whatever the load, I'm having the length of the beam is everything is there, x small as and i is fixed, my deflection will be 5 times that, I will work by 384. Here. Instead of simply support a beam, instead of simply support a beam, what I'm going to make, I'm going to make support as fixed fixed. I'm going to change the support as fixed fixed. Fixed means what? I am not going to allow the rotation. Here we are allowing the rotation, but we are, we are not going to allow the rotation of the beam. Same beam, same load, same span, same W, same span, L, everything is there. Only I have changed, instead of hinge and roller, here I am putting fixer fixer. Fixer fixer means it won't move horizontal, it won't move vertical, it won't rotate also. So all three things are restricted. Okay, it won't, uh, all three things are, all movements are, all, uh, are, all degree of freedoms are arrested, right? So, when you are doing like that, what will be your bending moment? Your bending moment will be, I will see, uh, we will see later how to derive this one and all, but I am just telling why are we going for indeterminate first, okay? So, you are getting, because of fixed end, what will happen? Here your slope will be zero, right? Your slope should be zero. Slope should be zero means you won't have any rotation at this point. Here, no rotation will be, you should not have any rotation. But due to load, the beam will rotate, try to rotate like that. Yes or no? But you are providing the restriction, right? Restraint. So it will create the moment 
opposite to your rotation so that moment if you are applying like this you can see you can get hump here so here you will get the tension top will be in tension bottom will be in compression again here also the beam will try to downward but to opposite reaction will develop as a moment to make your slope should be zero right here for simply support beam you have slope theta will be there theta will be there but here fixer fixer is very fixer right so you are having put a fixer uh, constraint here constraint here so here you won't get any slope means what you are not allowing the rotation then how will slope will create if you are not allowing the rotation slope is zero that is the meaning so in your uh, yesterday itself we discussed whenever we are not giving freedom stresses or resistance will develop yes sir no? the resistance are here this moment the restriction we have to give some payment to make uh, work properly okay that restraints are developing that moment it will try to uh, be opposed to the rotation of your beam so when you are doing like that you can see here if you are uh, applying the moment like that top will be in tension bottom will be in compression so that is your negative moment here again normal center portion because of the loading you will get the positive moment sagging so top in compression bottom in tension okay so when you are uh, after analyzing the beam this fixed beam you will get the value as w square by 12 here w square by 12 here will be w square by 24 you can see the bending moment how much moment is created for simply sub with same span is w square by 8 right but here if is case of fixed fixer you can see what is the maximum moment w square by 12 which one is more This is more. Your demand is more. The bending moment is coming under simply subdivision is very high. So whenever you are going for simply subdivision, we have to. You are getting more bending at the mid point. So what you have to do? This is the analysis value. You have to design right to take care of that much moment. To take care of the W square by A, you have to design it right. So it will become uneconomical. Here you can see here when you are going for fixed fixer, it's W square by twelve. 12 means the you can see the diameter is more, so your value will be less. So M fixer fixer is less than M simply support. That is the one reason. Next reason is the delta. We are getting 5 W L per 4348 3D4A for simply support beam. For fixer fixer, you will get W L per 4 divided by 3D4A. Five times you can reduce the mid span deflection because of just changing the support alone. Because just changing the support alone, you can reduce the deflection five times, right? So why do we have to restrict the deflection? The thing is, when you are staying in the room, in your house itself, your beam will be safe. But if this deflect, uh, if it deflected like anything, means can you stay in the room? Beam won't collapse, but it may get deflected. So uh, the deflected beam will you stay in the room? Will you stay in the house? is called serviceability during our lifetime we should not get uh, we have some serviceable limitations uh, there when you are uh, going for design subjects rcc um, design basics of our reinforce tank design is there right this semester or next semester rcc design guys next semester not this semester next semester design okay okay so when you are going for design we are having two states are there okay one is serviceable limit state another one is ultimate serviceable means during our lifetime okay our uh, daily working uh, do not during our lifetime daily working uh, loads are there right for example uh, we are coming to home we are there in home we are doing cooking also how many people are there or in uh, regular classroom how many people are there it's a standard one this called the working load sometimes sudden uh, Problem, maybe some earthquake or whatever, or fire. Some issues are coming. Me, many people might have uh, accumulated in one particular place, gathered in one particular place. Maybe that uh, floor might have designed for 50 people. Suddenly, that maybe 100 people or 200 people may may gather. So that is called ultimate. 
so that ultimate time this is rare in rare case only will occur that time my structure should not collapse but it can get damaged it can get damaged damage means uh, what is the meaning it can get cracked it can get deflected all those things but that ultimate shape may be the rare case but in working condition you should not see this kind of cracks you should not see this kind of deflection at all because daily we are living in the house with some crack big, big cracks or some deflector uh, beams are there means we can't uh, live safely simply so we won't get the comfort zone even though it won't collapse but we won't get that uh, uh, peaceful uh, uh, surrounding so we have two types of design service built and ultimate so in the service ability you know that we have to restrict the deflection you should at the particular load you should not have more deflection so how we can reduce the deflection either we have to go for bigger depth of the beam larger depth of the beam you have to go for a depth of the beam should be very high that means what the i yesterday we discussed right you have to increase the i to reduce the deflection but sometimes it's very very anatomical why you have to go for that much depth of the beam and also if you are going more depth of the beam headroom will be the problem yes, so for example you have to keep some kind of uh, racks or something and you have to put stool and you have to stand means that also again uh, your uh, it will get shaved like that this kind of problems will happen to avoid that what we can do we have to reduce the deflection that analysis side so then another option we can go for it make the resin as a fixed fixer so when you are going for fixed fixer the deflection at the mid span is reducing five times right five times you can reduce compared to your simply supported beam so this may be the economical one but we have to pay something compared to simply supported what we have to pay the analysis will be uh, difficult when you are going for determinant and another one we have to design it for this moment also and that means the connection is simple connection this is used to call pin as a simple connection for fixer one we used to call a fixer connection means fixer fixer means we have to spend more money on the connection if it is steel structure in general rcc that won't uh, affect much most of the things are as a continuous one rigid one only but in a uh, steel structure when you are going for design of steel structure the simple and uh, fixer fixer or rigid connection when you are comparing rigid connection will be costly so we have to think about there all the uh, things cost effect and everything and headroom all those things and all then you can go ahead what kind of connection is required right so that's why we are going for indeterminate structure if you are going for always determinant means it will leads to an economical so that's why we are making indeterminate to make economical structure that is the reason and that's why we are putting more effort to study the analysis of indeterminate structures also because finally money only the value thing right so we have to spend money for the structure anyway we have to stay in some structure or we have to use the structure it should be safe and with less money we have to spend less money only that means economical one it should be economical as well as should be conservative okay it should be safe as well as economical one it should not be always you should not always think about it has to be only safe or low as an engineer we have to find the difference between engineer and mason the mason also can do anything but it will be more costly if you want to make it is uh, costly as far as i don't know how we they are going for in terms of safety as an engineer you should know how to make your structure is safety as well as economical right this is a uh, reason why i am studying this subject okay whenever you are uh, going to learn some subject you should know why are we studying that then only you will get some interest because of that only we are learning right okay so yesterday we just started prop cantilever right so we found the reaction also that known we found the degree of indeterminacy what is degree of indeterminacy degree of indeterminacy is number of unknowns minus equations that equilibrium equations number of unknown equilibrium equations what are the unknowns if i am taking all Three vertical, horizontal, M. I think you go. V will be there. So how many is there? The four. One, two, three, four. And how many known equations? Three. So degree of indeterminacy is one. That one is nothing but this 
mechanical reaction right so or else if we are uh, not interesting about h if you are making h equal to 0 you should not take sigma h you should not take sigma h in the equation so what will be that it will turn around degree of freedom is equal to 3 minus 2 equal to again 1 that one is nothing but this unknown one so that un unknown we have found using the compatibility equation compatibility is nothing but this delta at this support will be equal to 0 that is our uh, aim right why are you putting the prop there to make delta equal to 0 you should not deal that delta equal to 0 so then what we have done we just uh, put we have uh, superimpose this a beam as one cantilever and plus this kind of like the support is nothing but it's a reaction it's going to give a reaction or it can be a load also i can write like this or i can put like that also whatever it's a kind of load simply a cantilever with the cantilever with the point load right cantilever with the point load that is the thing so cantilever with the point load uh, at the free end so therefore that we found the delta here the delta one and actually here delta will become like this this is delta two so delta one should be delta delta one minus delta two equals to be zero so delta one equal to delta two then we found out the reaction rb so how much rb rb is w by 5w by 16 and ra is 11w by 16 right so RB we found as 5W by 16. RA we found as 11W by 16. Sorry, this is not. Uh, we just started with the uh, point load, right? Midpoint load, L by 2, L by 2, this direction. This is 5 by 5W by 16. This is 11W by 16. Okay, so if I have to draw the shear force diagram, just start the pass you 11 W by 16. Again, it can go here. W is there. So 11 W by 16 minus W. How much it is coming? Minus 5 W by 16. So it will come like this. So this is positive. Here 5 W by 16. Again, it is going up 5 W by 16. So this is 5 W by 16. Right. This is we used to call positive shear clockwise. This is we used to call negative shear anticlockwise. This is positive shear. This is negative shear. This is SFD. Okay. So now we know that how much shear force is going to develop with the beam. For that, you can design it easily. The analysis is over. So what about bending moment? Because uh, we are having fixed support, right? The moment is developing. We are not allowing rotation here. Right and the intermediate also moment will develop. How we can find out? How we can find out is take moment about the points. Right? Take moment about the points. So I'm taking this is A, this is B. I'm taking moment about A. I'm taking moment about A. What about will be there? 5W by 16. Multiplication of L. Right? Then minus. Yeah, this is anti-clockwise, this is clockwise. Uh, whatever you want to take. Just make this a proper uh, uh, thing where will be the compression and uh, tension. So when you are doing like that, so top will be in compression, bottom will be in tension. So like that. Okay. So here again W into L by 2 will be equal to your M A. So the value will be 5WL by 16 minus WL by 2. How much it is? Minus 3w will be 16, right? Uh, 8 times 8. So minus 3w will be 16. That is your bending moment. Yes or no? So it's 3w will be 16. You know that your uh, hugging will be here. So this is your line. You know that it's a free end. Here are uh, just a uh, one roller only there. So bending moment is zero. Yes, sir. And here you are having the negative moment. That is, is coming around 
CWL by 16. So, where will be your positive moment then? Where will be your positive moment? Somewhere, if I want to find out here at the point, moment, uh, maybe I am saying this is A, this is B, this is C. At moment about C, what is my moment? 5WL by 16 into L by 2. So 5WL by 32. There is a positive moment or negative moment. Guys? Positive, sir. Positive. Okay. So that is 5 by. Okay. So here you will get the 5 by 16. And then. Okay. In between, that means uh, here your value. Here you are having max value. This is A, this is B, this is C. Here you are having a 5WL by 32. Here you are having the 3WL by 6. Somewhere it is tiny changing. It is positive, it is negative. Somewhere it is zero. Right? How will you find out the location of point of contact function? Sir, is it the straight line or curve? Yes, which one will come? It's straight line only. Because the point load only, right? Yeah, there's point load only there, sir. It yeah. is a straight line only, sir. Yes. Okay, okay, sir. It's not a parabola. Okay, sir. Yes. How will you find the value now? Uh, for example, I'll just draw again. Yeah. Um, it's 5WL by 32. This is negative. 3WL by 16. Here, 5WL by 32. This is negative. This is positive. All are straight lines. It's a uh, point load, right? Everything will be straight line. Only. Okay. This is A. This is B. This is C. So down, this is C. This is C. Uh, where your point load is there. Now, in between A and C, we are having zero moment. So, I just want to find the location from any side. Or from left side or right side. So, we will write the moment equation between A and C, sir, A. and make them zero. I'm just taking some x section from B. This is my x. I'm just taking moment about the x. I know that RB, right? What is your RB? 5W by 5W by 16. So 5W by 16 multiplication of the x, right? Then minus W into this is your L by 2. So W into x minus L by 2. This distance will be x minus l by 2, right? So, this is your moment at any section with this point from A to C. But we know that that moment is going to be 0 at some location. That only we had to find out. So, the m is we can make a 0 here. So, 5w x by 16 minus w of x minus l by 2 equal to 0. So, 5w x by 16 equal to w x minus w l by 2, right? So, WL by 2, then minus WX minus 5WX, sorry, 5WX by 16. So, 11 WX by 16. Here, WL by 2. So, what is the value then? X will be equal to, X will be equal to 8 by 11 L. X equal to 8 L by 11. So that X equal to 8 L by 11 is from B. There your point of fluctuation is there. Or here I can say it's a 3 L by 11. Okay. 
Any question? It's just you have done uh, same thing in previous semester. What I have done is I'm just we know that from this is positive moment is there. Here negative moment is there. Somewhere it has to be zero, right? So that zero is A to C only. It is there. Okay, I just put some cross section here. So from B that uh, section it is X. I'm just assuming that is the X location is X X distance. So I'm taking moment about the X. So R B into that X minus W into X total X minus L by two. So you know that why are we finding that X distance? So the X distance, some X distance, the moment is going to be zero. So where is the location? At what location that the moment is zero? So I'm just keeping M X zero. So that phi w x minus 16 minus w of x minus l by t equal to zero. When we so are solving, you will get x equal to 8 l by 11. But we are keeping x is from b only. So x equal to 8 l by 11 is here. So balance will be 3 l by 11. So finally, your bending moment diagram will be your friend bending moment diagram will be like bending moment diagram will be like. So this is minus. This is plus. This is 3 w l by 16. This is phi w l by 32, but where your uh, zero moment is there? From left support, this is 3 l by 11. This is your D M D, right? So for this moment, the stress is developing. So for that, you have to design your structure. You know, maybe next semester we will study how to design the structure. Okay, so to take care of this stress. The moment is nothing but again the axial forces only. Same thing only. If you are having a simple bending theory, if you are taking the concept, so always moment. Uh, what is moment? Is if I am trying applying the load or uh, rotation, it is trying to move like that. The top fiber is in compression, bottom fiber in tension. So for that, again is a normal axial force only. Moment also is an axial force. So top in compression, bottom in tension. So for that we have to design, right? So to take care of that much bending, uh, you have to design your beam or column or uh, foundation, whatever. Okay, that is only you are doing. This is uh, for point load. Can you please uh, do it for uh, this one? With you, dear. Can you draw the shape of the bending moment diagram for this problem? Again, what is your degree of inertia? So, probably can deliver. It's one. So, unknown will be this person only. So, how will you find the R B? So, if it is this is R A, this will be the R B. We have to find it. How will you find? You have to make delta equal to zero, or both delta are equal. You have to superimpose the two beams. Can deliver with U D L. Plus this one. I'm just taking uh, this reaction as a free end load, free end load at the top. So uh, your R B. This is nothing but your delta will be equal to same only R B L cube by three L. We derived yesterday. So like that here, how will you derive? How will you find the delta at the end? Here, this is A, this is B. What is the delta at B? How will you find? You can use moment area method, or you can use conjugate beam method. Any method you can use, Macaulay or double integration. Can you do that? Or shall I do now? Guys, will you do that? Or shall I do? Or shall we go to the next topic? Take that beam. So the proper can do this. The only thing we have to find the unknown reaction is that prop only. If you know that, you can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So our our ultimate aim in this subject is drawing the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram only. That is the reason. Finally, we are going to find those things. The analysis means that is the uh, final result. Okay. So we have to do so much work to find those two diagrams only, two values. Will people do this problem, or shall I do now? So we will get W L power four by A T I. Yeah, W L power four by A T I. Nice. So then, again, you can make the delta equal and uh, find the R B, and you can do the uh, find the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. 
and uh, find again the location of point of contact also. Right? So that's uh, one. You just finish it and let me know the tomorrow the answers. Okay. Or right, shall I discuss one more time? This prop can deliver. All of you are uh, okay with that, right? So I'm going yes, first, please let me know. Yes, if, you are, if I'm going first, please let me know because uh, I don't know what kind of suit I have to teach you or discuss with you. Sometimes teaching requires, uh, we have to go very slow, but I'm still thinking it's a discussion. So that's why I'm going somewhat um, face manner, increase the face. So let me know. Uh, shall I reduce the speed or shall I go with the speed itself? Guys, this is okay, sir. This is fine. Okay, right. And if people uh, don't want to comment here, you can uh, message me directly. Okay. Uh, if you want to talk personally or something, you can go over it. Right. Um, next topic we are going to see is fixed beams. Fixed fixed beams or we used to source of fixed beams. What is fixed beam? So I think you are evolving from like a Darwin series, small stage to like each and every stage. So first you have done the candy liver, then you have done prop, like uh, this is nothing but your this kind of reaction, roller and uh, one end is fixer. And next, what we are going is instead of roller, again we are going for fixer. Right? So we are just increasing the complexity and again we are going for economical beam. Right? So when you are going for fixer, fixer beam, when you are going for fixer, fixer beam, what will be your degree of indeterminacy? What will be your degree of indeterminacy? So here, moment, this one, this one will be there, this one, this one, this one will be there. So here three, Please, three, yeah, minus one equation three, so you will get three. Now again, if I am not uh, including the axial one, that means no axial deformation or something, h equal to zero, uh, horizontal force reaction. Just as in H is uh, not at all going to consider. Then, what will be your degree of indeterminacy? Only moment and vertical. Here, vertical and moment. So, degree of indeterminacy will be equal to 1, 4 minus 3 or 2. 2, sir. 2. Yeah. Equation, one equation will become 2 because we are not at all considering H at all. So, it will become 2. Right? Only we are having sigma m equal to 0 and sigma v equal to 0. Only. That's all. Right. Okay. So, uh, this is the thing. Again, uh, one more uh, pattern also there to find the degree of indeterminacy. This is DA means degree of indeterminacy. That means how many unknowns after using the equation. Again, I'm having a fixed beam. Just I'm assuming some center load is the W. Okay. So, I know the vertical reaction equally will distribute W by 2, W by 2. If it is in center means. So I know the vertical reaction. Again, unknowns are these two moments only. So my degree of indeterminacy will be 2 minus how many equations? Now 1 or 2. Because already you used the V. So that is over. So again, one only is one equation. One. So degree of indeterminacy will be 1. So DA, that will be changed continuously based on your pattern, how you are taking. Right? But general, whenever you are having gate exam, whatever, they are, if in that question, axial deformation or neglected or not neglected, like that, the word will be there. If it is neglected, you can go ahead with this equation. It's not neglected, axial deformations are not neglected, means you have to go for this D F in terms. You have to consider horizontal forces also. If they are neglecting means we need to consider the horizontal force. You can go for this one. Right. Okay, now, how will you solve the fixed fixed beam? How are we going to solve the fixed fixed beam? Now, what is first fixed fixed beam? Fixed fixed beam is nothing but nothing but the kind of supports are fixed fixed. 
that's all right so the major thing is we are we making that uh, rest in uh, as a fixer so we are making the rest in as a fixer means you are not allowing the rotation so theta is the rotation you are not allowing the rotation means theta equal to 0 so here when you are drawing the deflected shape always you have to make you have to draw like that only here zero theta then after that it will go like this and again zero uh for some uh, sorry for simply support beam if you are going to draw means it will come like this it will come like this you will have if you are having the tangent you will have the slope theta right so but here if you are getting the tangent this is a, if you are going to draw the tangent here means if you are taking the angle that is zero only the theta is zero this is the tangent for that curve so for this one end for fixed fixed if you are drawing the uh, tangent that is will be straight line so theta will be zero right so the slope is zero to make the slope zero we have to pay something the stress is developing that is your moment okay so the beam is trying to bend like that so your reaction should be opposite don't bend like that you have to put in this shape so again here also simple uh, moment will be developed so this is ma this is mb we used to call end moments we used to call end moments so additionally additional you will get normally due to the load you will get bending moments but due to the support reaction you will get additional moment that is called end moments okay for example this is your simply support of beam okay you are having a point load w l by 2 l by 2 so your bending moment diagram will be like this the past bending moment diagram is like this so what is this bending moment w l by 4 right l by 4 so positive bending moment if i am making that beam as a fixed fixer with w again due to that normal i can uh, reconstruct this beam as reconstruct this beam as normal simply supported w plus just a support this is the end moment again only fixed fixed all over b so like that i can superimpose so because of the load what you will get is your bending moment is like this wl by 4 positive moment load alone and again because of that end support i told you right because of support alone you are getting the additional moment that is end moment so you can see here this is also top is tension bottom is compression because of this uh, rotation you can see here if you are applying like this if you are uh, sorry if you are applying like this uh, top it will uh, deflect shape it will get like this it will go like this very very top will be in tension bottom will be in compression again here also top will be in tension bottom will be in compression so that means it's hogging it's hogging some minus so e this is ma this is mb so i can draw here due to this moment alone because of the support alone you are getting the moment mba and mb so if you want to draw the bending moment diagram for this beam you will get here ma this mb we don't know which one is higher maybe both will be equal i'm just drawing uh, in my M i thought i'm just thinking mb may be higher but sometimes ma equal to mb most of the time will be ma will be equal to mb if your loadings and everything is symmetrical right so this is a rectangular one but the sign is negative so negative moment in moments we used to call as a negative moment because because you are all not allowing the rotation due to that in the end top you are getting the hogging that is the hogging this is also hogging portion this is also a hogging portion right hogging hogging here it is sagging so due to load you are getting the sagging moment due to the support reaction you are getting the hogging moment so if after superimposing this is your bending moment diagram now we have to find out what is that end moment what is the value how much end moment will create due to the loading also the tension reaction will change right so how much moment will come into the support due to the various load how will you calculate that negative moment that we will see in uh, next class
okay so tomorrow we will uh, continue this fixed beam we are going to find what is the value is going to come for this fixed end moments how to calculate the fixed end moment you can uh, please understand if normal beam okay it's a fixed beam with point low here due to load also you will get the moment due to this fixed end reaction also you will get the moment this you will get the positive moment this you will get the negative moment right so this moment and this moment you have to superimpose and we have to find out finally how much is the bending moment there right so to uh, get the draw the bending moment of shear force diagram again unknowns are first you have to find out the that fixed end moments if you know the end moments obviously you can easily find out the reactions and everything you can go with shear force diagram bending moment diagram so how you can find out the fixed end moments that we will see in next class okay so any questions as of now any questions so i take this is no questions yes 